Good morning, my dear friends. I'm going to share the third chapter of the book of Colossians with you this morning. It's just something the Lord gave me and laid on my heart. and It's got some good stuff in it, so that's what I'm going to share with you this morning, friends. Chapter 3 of Colossians. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things of earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ and God. When, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience in the which ye also walked sometime when ye lived in them but now ye also put off all these anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth lie not one to another seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him where where there is neither greek nor jew circumcision nor uncircumcision barbarian scythian bond nor free but christ is all and in all put on therefore as the elect of god holy and beloved vows of mercies kindness humbleness of mind meekness long-suffering forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, do all, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and Father by him. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord, not in your husband, but in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. 
servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with us, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, hearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that the that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect for persons. So bam, there you go, friends. That's some good stuff to start this morning off with, isn't it? I've, been, I've had my two hymn books over here singing and singing and singing, but my voice is all scratchy and crackly, and so I'm not going to sing to y'all this morning. But I can read God's holy word to you, and I'll be back with more. I like sharing God's holy word with you. I like... I just like sharing with y'all. I love your comments. Y'all are my family. I'm thankful for every one of you. And goodness gracious, y'all. Y'all are writing so many comments now, it's hard for me to keep up. I don't even know where I'm at with comments. I, I responded to probably 50 of them last night, and I don't know what I got left. Y'all be patient with me. But keep writing them, because I read them. And they make my heart happy. Y'all are my family. And I thank God for every one of you. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. And all y'all on the other side of the world, y'all get some good rest tonight. May God give you good rest. All of you, stay safe. Stay close to the Lord. That's where we need to live. In the bosom of the Lord all the time. He loves us all way more than we can imagine. We need to love him back. We need to share him. That's what we need to do. Every one of us needs to share Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit work through you. Listen to my video yesterday on the Holy Spirit. It was a long one, 40 something minutes long, but y'all, You need to let the Holy Spirit work through you. You're the vessel in which the Holy Spirit can reach others. God bless you, friends.